Hey, so I've been watching Magical Girl Sight, and one of the most interesting things about this show to me is the main power. The girls are able to essentially kill people and make it look like an accident with these weird magical gun things, and they also have this ability to stop time and then kill somebody without anybody having the evidence of it being him, essentially, you know, making it look like an accident. And I think that's really interesting about this show, because the girls who are granted this power seem to be ones who were misfortunate in some way, or in the case of the main girl, are riddled with constant abuse. Like, in the first episode, she has a suicide attempt, and she is, like, almost raped, and, um, you know, just is, in general, very bullied by the other girls in her school, and the way she eventually gets back at them is that this Magical Girl Sight program uh, chooses her for it, and then makes it to where, you know, she can kill these bad people with those abilities, and as she uses that magic, eventually, you know, she will die. Her powers will degrade as she uses them, and she will burn up as well. And I think that's a really interesting concept, and I think it speaks to teenagers especially very well. Like, if I watched this show when I was 13, I think it would probably be my favorite anime, simply based on that concept alone. And in, in many ways it reminds me of Death Note to a much more extreme extent, because when I was 13, I watched Death Note for the first time, and it was immediately my favorite anime because I looked up to light so much. Like, I saw what Light was doing, killing these criminals with his Death Note, and I wanted to be Light Yagami. Like, I saw how these people were wronging people in the world, and how he was just going on, you know, mass genocide stuff. And I, when I saw that, I was like, wow, I want to be this guy. Which, upon reflection, seems very concerning. Uh, that was probably not a good thought for me to have, but I was 13 and I was being very, very heavily bullied at the time, so, you know, cut a girl some slack. And so, um, watching Magical Girl Sight now is like a much more extreme version of what I was feeling at the time with, you know, Light Yagami. I mean, nowadays, as a 16-year-old, I can't really feel what this show is necessarily trying to make me feel. Like, I enjoy the show. I think it's a good show. But I feel like if I had watched this when I was 13, it would just click with me perfectly because so much of what happens in the show to the main girl is stuff that I can personally relate to or is stuff that's exaggerated that I can see myself in in terms of those emotions that are just reflected in an abstract sense or I can see myself in the situation, you know. So if I had watched this at that time, I would be able to see myself in it, not only reflected through the certain situations that are going on, but I would also be able to, you know, imagine myself in a situation where I had those magical girl powers, where I was given the magical girl sight, and in that case, you know, I would just fall in love with this show because I would want to be part of Magical Girl Sight in that instance, because I would be able to, you know, take my enemies and, um, punish them for how they had wronged me, and so I think that's probably one of the most interesting things about this show. That's one of the things I love about this show, because it makes me remember back to when I was 13, and it makes me think, wow, I would have really loved this at the time, just because of the themes that this show has, because of the, you know, um, uh, the fucking powers that these girls get. It, it allows you to sort of put yourself in their shoes as someone who is suffering and then, you know, um, uh, be able to look up to them for, for being able to kill people like this. And so, yeah, yeah, I, it's, it's something that I can certainly see myself enjoying a lot when I was that age. And I mean, nowadays, you know, I, I see the show as like a good seven or, you know, a light eight, like, it's, so far at least, I haven't finished the show, I'm sure I'll give it a higher score when it's done, but I, I enjoy it, like, it's a, it's a good time, 
Um, <laughs> you know, to be honest with you, at a lot of the more, like, gory scenes, I just kind of laughed. Like, when uh, the girl had found, like, the pins in her shoes, I was like, wow, this is just such a comically violent thing to happen. I mean, you know, like, it's it's a real thing that could happen, but, like... Come on, man. <laughs> this is just funny to watch. Um, but I do think the story itself is very endearing, and I, I love the character designs. A lot of the stuff about it in an emotional sense is stuff that I can relate to, and I think it has a cool concept. Like, the concept of the show is really cool. So, yeah, that, that's just sort of my scattered thoughts on Magical Girl Sight so far. I'm only two, one and a half episodes, technically. I'm watching the second episode right now.